everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got another sound design and synthesis video for you guys today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to control the transform pad in Alchemy using the LFO or envelope within the modulator MIDI effects plugin. Now, one of the wonderful things about Alchemy is its transform pad. It's essentially like having eight presets inside of every preset. So I can sweep this around and get eight different tones each with its own modulation effects. For this, I'm using the Angelic Choir preset under the pads. Now you can write in this as automation. It's quite simple to do, and I've demonstrated that in other videos. But let's say you want a repeating motion and you want it to be really smooth, maybe something that you're not able to do with your mouse alone. For this, I like to use the Modulator MIDI Effects plugin. So if you don't know how to load this up, just go to your channel strip, go to the MIDI Effects slot here, the MIDI Effects insert, click on that, and then go down to Modulator. The Modulator, as I demonstrated in yesterday's video, allows you to pair an LFO or an envelope with any synthesizer control or any effects control, including some third-party instruments. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this two option, and then I'll select learn plugin parameter. Then whatever I click on will become paired with that LFO. So you can see the left-right direction, this is the transform pad X parameter, is being paired to a triangle wave LFO, I could make this a sine wave, I can make this a square wave where it just jumps back and forth, or I could randomize this. So I'm gonna go with the sine wave for this for now, and let's see what this sounds like. So other than the very first example, the sort of motion uh, that was created is not very pleasing sounding. And you could slow this down if you wanted this just to sort of cycle back and forth every couple of bars. The problem here is I also want to control the Y axis, the up and down axis. So what I'll do for now is I'm just gonna bypass this modulator, and then I'm going to add a second modulator right after it. And then what I'll do with this one is I'll learn the Y axis. Now, the tricky thing about this is no matter what you do, when you click learn plugin parameter, if you click on this, it's always gonna learn the X axis. I've tried it a million different ways. I've tried, you know, clicking learn plugin parameter and then dragging up and down while I do it. It never really seems to want to select the Y parameter. So what you can do is in Alchemy, go up to this view menu here, click on this, and switch this from editor to controls. What this does is it just shows you the raw controls of Alchemy without the user interface. And most Logic plugins are actually this way. So if there's a parameter you're having trouble learning to a MIDI CC or to the modulator plugin, this is how you can access it. You may have to go and dive through the list to find it, but it's there. Now you can see pretty close to the top here, we have the transform pad Y. So now what I can do is just learn plugin parameter and then click on that parameter. And now it's learned it. And if I go back to the editor view, you'll see that the control is now going up and down. And then I can turn on my first modulator and now both of them are moving in tandem. I'm gonna go back to the first modulator, which had the horizontal control, the X control. And what you can do here is you can adjust the output level. This will sort of limit the range or limit the depth of the modulation. So I could opt to just kind of keep this on the left side of the transform pad, or I could pull this all the way up and it'll sweep over the entire transform pad. Additionally, if you want it to stay more over on the right side, you can pull up the offset and now the control is going to sort of favor the uh, the right side of the transform pad. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll pull down the output level just so it kind of, yeah, it does that. It just kind of bounces back and forth on the right pads.
So in my second modulator, I'm going to slow this down. It's at a quarter note right now. So let me set this to two bars. I think that'll move a lot slower now. And when you get a sort of cycling effect you like, you can try this out with some other elements in, in your beat. Now this isn't gonna work with all patches in Alchemy. Not every position on the transform pad is going to sound great. So that's why it helps to limit it to maybe one side or just limit it to the top or the bottom. And all of that can be adjusted by playing around with the output level, the offset, and then the speed or the rate of each LFO. So that's how you can control Alchemy's transform pad using the modulator MIDI effects plugin in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.